this is just about everything you need to build eco reefs, whether they're small to go into your aquarium or, or large or really substantial to go into the waterways. That's, this is where we start. You must get twigs. Uh, the, the rougher and the, the more complex they are, the better. Twigs or roots or branches, fantastic. Uh, the, the rougher, as I say, the better. And the more because they have to grip. It's they've got to grip like uh, it, it. It follows the beaver beaver bridge principle, where the timbers are actually weaved into each other. Then we come to the weight. To to take them down to the bottom of the, the of your waterways, you've got to have weight. And uh, sandstone bits of sandstone rocks, anything we've got. The rougher, the better. Fantastic. You need a rope, strong rope in this case. Everything that goes into the water must come out of the water. Simple as that. Whatever you do, whatever goes in must come out. The stronger the rope, the better, because this will last as long as you need it to so that you can use your echo reefs and take them out when you, when you need to after they've done the job that they're required to do. Then you need a knife. You need a trusty little knife, safety gear, goggles, uh, a mask, gloves. Must have those. Um, Hessian and Koya. For natural, for natural uh, eco reefs, where, uh, where they will demolish, they go into the environment and disappear forever. Uh, and sisal rope, in this case, which will disintegrate. So that's that's important for the above waterline uh, eco reefs. Under the waterline, you have to have something that, where you can put it in and take it out. That, this is your expense. You must have a heat gun of some sort. You, you can do them in, a, in an electric oven at 135 degrees centigrade, but the, 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 the easiest way and the quickest way to do it is with a heat gun. Uh, you, you must never use a gas oven, by the way. Then we come to the binder. Uh, most people would say, whoa, this is plastic. We can't put plastic into the waterways. Yes, you can. It is very important to remember that to, to get the timber and the rocks together to sink in order to be able to hold your plant life and your and your fish caves, baby fish caves and your breeding areas, you must have a binder. Now, glue is not an option because it comes off timber and this and goes into the waterways. Any any other item which is actually toxic must not go into the water. It has to go in and come out. Plastic is is a and is an extremely strong binder, and we show you how it's used. It, we, we use just about all of it. Anything that's not used go into, goes into the recycle. But they are, so collect a, uh, a number of plastic bottles of, uh, you know, soda bottles and, and water bottles and just keep them handy and we'll show you exactly how it's done. So let's just collect this, get your little factory together. It costs you nothing except for the glue gun and, and your knives and things like that. So, so it's not a huge investment and you can make money out of it, right? You can make money out of it, so we'll show you how it's done. But the most important thing is to get it out there so you can save the mangroves, you can, you can uh, start breeding your little fish, and you can get into it. We can do this thing, and we can save our waterways. So please get into it. Give us your results. Thank you.